What's up, 47 Brethren? It is your boy Kid Rex here with another reaction video. And today, I'm going to be reacting to my top five favorite rappers of all time by Gully Boy. I'm interested to see what his top five all time favorite rappers are because I know what I, I have a pretty good idea what mine are, but. I, I like to hear other people's viewpoints of what theirs is, just, just you know, just to compare, you know. Um, everybody has their own top five, I'm, I'm sure. But um, the link to the original video will be in the description. Make sure you subscribe to Gully Boy's channel for more content. And if you haven't already, go check out my newest skit called Fake Story Time. It's up on my channel now. It is featuring my homie Kyo Kun. Uh, let me know what you think about that skit. And of course, more skits will be coming soon. You already know. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, three, two, one. And go. Hey, hey. What up, YouTube? Gully Boy is back at you with another countdown video. And this time around, I'm going to be okay. counting down my top five uh, favorite rappers of walls. all time. Shit. Not only am I going to be dang. telling you guys my favorite rappers, but I am that also going to give reason shit, and explanations on why these are Let my favorite. <laughs> now, for a little disclaimer, um, these are my top five favorite these rappers. These are his top no five. No one else's. So I don't Just need comments opinions. such as... You miss this person, or where? where is this person? This yeah. is my list. His top five. Now, it's perfectly fine if you shared your faves in the comment section. I don't mind that. But saying stupid shit like, you miss this person, or you miss that person. I didn't miss nobody. This is or, my like, list. Why, why you have this dude on change. top five? He's always he not be better than this dude. Like, dude. With no further ado, let's check out this his top five. Boy's top five my top favorite five. rappers of all time. Right. But yeah. Uh. Uh. Coming in at number five, we have a mighty Wu Tang of Ghost Face Killer. Ghost Face Killer. Okay. You had a navy green, solid man, the thing. Yeah. Tone Starks, Iron Man, whatever you want to call it. One of okay. the main things I like about Ghost Face Killer is his ability to tell stories in his raps. When you listen to his songs, it's almost like you're there in the scenario that he's rapping about. Two songs where I feel like he executed this okay. skill perfectly is 260 from the Iron Man album. And Mighty Healthy from the Supreme Clientel album. I would probably say now, one of the main things I like about artists is how this just my thing. He's probably one of the Ghost best Space spitters out of the is at his peak. He's still releasing amazing material today with albums such as 12 Reasons to Die 1 and 2, 36 Seasons, and Sour Soul. Go check those out, by the way, because my boy Ghostface is still in his prime. Okay, that's a good number five. I, I, I fuck with it. You can't go, you can't go wrong with any Wu Tang member, though, anyway. Peace to a New York legend, my boy Sean Price. Oh, yeah, recipe Sean P. Yo, Sean Price was so underrated, bro. Oh, man. Sean P. Who can't click? Boy. Duck down. Original gun clappers. Help the oh, help the, all man. that shit. Go Google it. Recipe right Sean now, Price. So you can man. get that history real quick. Because you're going to need that. This is anyway, underground my shit for right here. favorite rapper out of Boot Camp Click is Sean Price. Oh, Ever since I heard that Help the Skelter album not turn it back in the day. I've been and a huge fan ever since. Now, one of the main things I like about Sean Price is his rap style. Sean He's Price was a cool rapper ass dude. That adds a comedic element to his raps. A great example of this is his song Barbecue yeah, Sauce. Yeah, he, he always had fun with my shit. Tyson. 
Sean is the first name. Fit fighters first, motherfucker, the first flame. Earth lanes, we be facing the street. You pick up your face and wait for police. You can also check out the Boy, hilarious I, song, Pork Chops and Apple Boy, I'm I'm major sling blade. I like fried taters. I like cooking <laughs> beans. I'm so glad that Sean Yo, left oh, this timeless man. music that never gets old, this dude, that never gets whacked. He was an underrated classic, bro. Classic such as Jesus Christ Superstar, oh, Monkey Balls, and much, much more. Sean Price Damn, I miss this dude. If y'all don't know about him, y'all y'all gotta check him out. This dude is free though. Oh man, I miss Sean Price. All right, coming in at number three, we have a H Town legend, my boy, South Park Coalition's own K Reno. Now, yeah, I never actually listened to K Reno. I heard of him, now, but I never don't listened. Don't know nothing about K Reno. I'm gonna need you to Google his discography, listen to his first album, which is Stories from the Black Book. Listen to okay. each album after that one till you okay. get to his new album, Making Enemies. Got next for me, better address it directly. Best believe if not, never would it affect me. I possess every heavenly preliminary accessory necessary to carry out my destiny. K Reno has been in the you know game for 20 plus years, and it's you know still who sounds like him uh, today. And he just keeps getting Tech Nine kind of sounds like him a little bit. There are so many things to talk about to describe why I can Kay hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tech Nine kind of sound like K like Reno. Yeah. yeah. One of the main things I like about K Reno is his ability to bring real life issues into his raps. There are so many songs I can use to prove this point perfectly, but I'm just gonna go with his classic song, You Ain't Real, from his self-titled album, K Reno. Okay. Respected, unprotected, thank you, bit to last. Same crusty little panties on your filthy ass. Talking about okay. you on a good man, you lying now. At the motherfucking flea market buying hair. Another <laughs> thing I like about K Reno is his ability to make you think in his raps. The classic song, Grand Deception, where he vividly breaks down the Illuminati, he okay. does it perfectly. 1776, it took action. This Illuminati took form and was spawned from a Colombian faction. Okay. He spread knowledge, okay. I see, I see why you fuck with Y'all also need to check out the songs, Three Gods, Be Careful, Be Programmed, and I can go all day with the song. Okay. Just go check out K. Reno, he is one of my favorite rappers of all time. K. Reno. Like, like I said, again, I never listened to K. Reno, but I think I heard of him before. <laughs> Coming in at number two, we have a rap god, man. My boy, Cool Keith. I got my shades on, big rock star. Okay. I never listened to Cool Keith neither. I'm just gonna put that out. There. Now, if you don't know who Cool Keith is, I'm gonna need you to get some baby powder right now and slap yourself in the face. <laughs> this dude right here is responsible for out of baby a lot powder. of shit you see in rap music today. Let's just Sorry, start no, with I, I know about crazy cool game. That. This was I actually the first to dude to actually rap about space and Mars and have crazy wardrobes. And on top of that, crazy rap skills. I can easily say that he was the inspiration for the music videos No Scrubs by TLC, but the Missy Busta Elliot, Rhymes video, I Can't Stand the Rain, and all the rest of those crazy yeah, music like, videos. Yeah, because like, I usually was the love videos like that. Honestly. All of that. But another thing I like about Cool Keith. Will you, how will you express yourself in crazy, now, you funny ways cool like Keith, that? You're going to feel very eerie and uncomfortable sometimes. Best videos. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go listen to the classic underground album, Dr. Octagon. And just Ooh. to show y'all an example of what I'm talking about, I'm going to play a sample of one of Dr. my favorite Octagon. songs off the album. That's a dope ass name. Mm -hmm. Back to rumors with the nurse with the voodoo curse. Holding the office like standing at huge heights. Back and forth. Left wing, swing to north, east and south with blood pouring down. I'm also gonna go need y'all to check out That's the a nice classic thing says, album, I First lie. Come First Serve, and Black Elvis Lost in Space. I won't fuck with that first cover though. Slap yourself in the face two times. 
But yeah, nobody can deny the fact that Cool Keith is a rap god and he is an innovator for a lot of shit you see today. And he is also one of my favorite rappers of all time. I quit rap, couldn't find competition, I threw hip hop in the garbage. The Rock Hall of Fame had to pay homage while everybody was fat cooking sausage. Wow. Wow. Coming in at okay. number one, my favorite rapper of all time. Detroit legend, horrorcore legend, my boy, Esham the Unholy. I never heard of this dude. <laughs> I can fully say I. This the only dude. Where do I start? On that list, I've never. Where heard. do I start? Esham, amazing storyteller, great lyricist. Great songwriter, great producer. He is one of the forefathers of core core rap, and every album he's ever dropped has been straight flames. Just in case if y'all didn't know, this guy right here is who Eminem looked up to back in the day. So yeah, that's saying something. Well, that makes but sense. Anyway, from the one of the main Mary, things I like about Esham is his raw delivery. When Esham gets on the track, man, he just lights that shit on fire. One of my favorite songs from Esham that showcases this perfectly is a song called I'll Be Glad When You Dead from the album Closed Cast. Be glad when you dare take a two to the head, fill a body bag, blood stains, bloody man. I can't rest till I put one dead in the center of your chest. In a GAS. Now, if you thought I can definitely song see, I can definitely see why like where Eminem got it from. Fucking album. The whole album is just straight up like that. Just but saying anyway, shit like uh, that. Esham, hands down, is my favorite rapper of all time. And hands he's still down. very consistent today. God damn. Still making music. Still bringing us that horrorcore shit that we all love. And I'm going to always be a supporter. Makes sense. If you always going to be a fan, no matter what, you'll still support him. Okay, so that was his top five rappers of all time. I can say, uh, I can definitely say, uh, Ghostface Killer and Sean Price were, were, were definitely good choices. Um, Cool Keith and, uh, what was the other dude? Uh, that was number three. So besides Sean Price and, uh, Ghostface Killer, everybody else, I'd be like, yeah, um, Man, Sean Price just brings me back, bro. Oh my God. Cause like, bro, back in middle school, I used to bump Sean Price a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Um, uh, man, Sean Price, Sean Price was that dude, man. Like, like he had some good songs back in the day. And this dude was just funny to listen to. Um, I think he even had his own track, or he was featured on a track on Grand Theft Auto 3. And I'm just like, man, this dude. Ah, oh, damn. But, um, my top five, I would say, would be Nas, um, Nas, Eminem, um, Biggie, Lupe Fiasco, and Jay-Z. Um, so, again, it, so, you know, first and foremost, Nas. To me, he's what's got me into rap growing up. And I loved all his albums back when I was a kid. Um, I think the first album I heard from was I Am. And then I backtracked and listened to uh, Illmatic, and it was written. And Stillmatic was great, of course. Um, and Godson, man, Nas was an unbelievable spitter. But you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna go to get too deep into it in this video since it's just a reaction video. But um, but yeah. My, those that would be my top five: Nas, Eminem, Biggie, Lupe, Jay Z. Uh, Kendrick's creeping up, so he might break into that top five and may take somebody out. But that will be my personal top five. But um, 
that's a decent little top five, you know. But again, this is his opinion, and I have my own top five. List your top five rappers of all time in the comments down below. And if you like my reaction to it, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace, my 47 brethren.